So how you feeling, man? Being out here, how you feeling about the cipher? I feel like um, I was talking to some of the guys. Like I feel like it's just a miracle to get this many people on a Saturday alone. Like, hold on, let me talk to the people. You know, there is no way people on a Saturday are available to all get together. It is so people's schedules are like this. So that in and of itself, I just feel like, man, God, you must be doing something because look at all the people. So the best part of this is the community aspect. It's the fact that we're talking. It's the fact that, you know, I, I'm on the side, I can have a conversation with my brother about things I'm going through in my life. And he's, and he's affirming me and he's like, um, you know, God is using him to confirm things that I've been sensing, you know? So it's like, it's the fellowship aspect of, of brothers getting together um, who are like-minded, man. So that's been the highlight for me, for sure, absolutely, so far. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, CHH, you're an artist, you do music, Mills is hosting it. So what's, can you just touch on your relationship with me? Like how Matt, just y'all, that special connection y'all got and how he mm -hmm. has um, contributed towards, you know, the music that God is giving you. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Joe Mill is, is one of the most influ influential people in my life. Like God has used him for some of the biggest decisions I've had to make in my life. So I met Jamil, I'm pretty sure I met him at an event. I'm spacing at where exactly it was, but I met him. He actually knew my boy Rick first. Um, and I, I met him, I'm pretty sure we just, we just said what's up and he found out I did music. We found out we had the same last name. And then at that point we were like, oh, this is crazy. So him and I started to build a little bit of a relationship. Um, and he was like, yo man, I believe in you. Um, and I, he wanted to invest in me, like into my life, you know, as a person. And we started to build this relationship. And, you know, over the, over the years, God has used him to be like a, the voice of a father in my life from God's perspective. You know, so I have a dad, but you know, it's not the same, right? So I'm talking things like, Jamil was the, the dude who said, yo, call um, Mallory's parents. Mallory's my wife now. But he'd be saying, like, when I'm an overthinker, and he would, he would challenge me and just be like, yo, just do this, right? So I set up the dinner, and I, I, her parents said yes, that I can marry their daughter. And that's how, you know, I saw how God was using him to, like, impact my life in a very, you know, personal and intimate way. And I was like, man, if I, if I never do music again, Jamil will always be my brother. And he's been like a mentor. Uh, someone I genuinely love and I'm grateful for and obviously, you know, he, we do music together He shoots my music videos um, So I'm grateful for that aspect how he has assisted me in creating a visual aspect But I would say the the best part about Joe Mill is How he loves people, you know, what I'm saying like how he loved how he has loved me over the years Has you know got me to where I am today as a man, you know, and I think that that's way more um, influential than him wanting to partner with me in music. You know what I'm saying? Like him, him being that. So, yeah, I, I would just say that. Absolutely. No, that's Jamil as a as a man, he's a real he's the real deal, man. Like he is he is he has no motive in it for himself, and um, it's that level of sincerity and and like genuine character that I connect to, and um, I could tell he was real from the jump, man, and like. It's really blessed my life. I'm so grateful for him, bro. Like for real. Like he has, God has used him, right? So it's been like, thank you, Jamil. I love you, bro. For real, I love you. So. Right, we gonna cut it right there. Nah, that was that was that was good, man. That was hard. <laughs>